Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Melanie Matthew, co-founder and CEO of Prelis Biologics, where we are building life with light. What is life made of? Life is made up of interactions, the joy, the cherished memories we all have. At the molecular and cellular level, life is also made up of interactions. What you're seeing here on the screen are cell-cell interactions inside an organ. Cell-cell communication pathways and interactions are necessary for an organ to function properly. When organ failure occurs, it's because tissues accumulate damage over time, disrupting these cell-cell interactions and disrupting these pathways. There's a decrease in organ function, progressive function loss, and eventually complete loss of life. In my research career, I studied these cell-cell interactions. And, when, and one day, when I was in the lab analyzing the exact same interactions you see here on the screen, I realized that we could take our high-power, ultra-fine resolution laser technology that we use to image these and reverse engineer it to print the tissue structures around these cells, building a tissue from the inside out. And what was most important was that this super-fine laser could recreate tiny structures, the microvasculature and capillaries that feed organs and exchange oxygen. Without this, you can't print organs. You can't print anything thicker than a sheet of paper. And this is critically important for the over 90 million people in the US alone who are suffering from progressive organ failure. Currently, the market for human organ replacement and tissues is stalled around $500 million a year annually. This consists mostly of non-living tissue replacement and tissue in a dish that's used for therapeutic screening. By printing microvasculature, we believe we can open up a multi-trillion dollar vertical and provide real human tissue to patients who are suffering. And so with this idea in hand, I designed a laser system that could print microvasculature and then lay down tissue and other cells around it, building a full organ from the inside out. Here at IndieBio, we turn this idea into reality. On your left here, you see our laser-based printing system. It's not projecting a single fine laser beam, but a hologram. That's why the beam is so spread out. And it's projecting it into our tissue dish here on your right, where we are actually printing a structure. But can we print, can we print the microvasculature with this? What you're seeing now is a video of printing a human microvasculature structure. The center pore is less than 10 microns across, matching the average size of human blood vessel or capillary. Around it, in our biocompatible cell matrix, we are printing a ring to trap cells that will grow and differentiate, strengthening that vascular wall. Five days later, our cells are still inside this microvasculature structure. They're alive, they're healthy, they're, they're dividing. And the dye that we printed with is still contained inside of these blood vessels or these blood vessel-like structures, speaking to the integrity of the structures we're printing. But how do you build a whole organ from this? That starts with data. The kidney you're seeing here on the left is an entirely, the, the kidney structure you're seeing on the left is built of entirely microvasculature structure lit up by India Inc. This data is provided by our partner 3Scan and we can take this data, run it through our software system, isolate the blood vessels and structures we want to print, and feed it into our laser printing system, recreating native tissue and vascular structures. So do the cells survive in this matrix that we're creating? To test that, we took immune cells, we got them from a single blood donation, we grew them up, we differentiated them, and then we printed them into immune structures. To see if these would work, we took these immune cells and we challenged them to Zika virus, much the same way you would give a human a vaccine. And within a matter of weeks, we had several human antibody hits that were reactive to the Zika virus. But ultimately, we are a human organ and tissue printing company. And we plan to provide an alternative to organ donation. How will that work? When a patient gets sick, they're sent to a transplant center, 
and more often than not, they're told they're not a candidate for organ donation. The lucky few that get put on a wait list still have years of time ahead of them waiting for an organ. In fact, most people never get one. 22 people a day die while on the organ transplant waiting list. Here at Prelis, we plan to interface directly with the transplant centers and provide human organs within four months of patient registration. How will we do that? Transplant surgeons will send us a tissue biopsy, where we will grow and expand the cells from that until we have enough to print a full organ. We'll run that organ through a series of functional tests, send it back to the transplant surgeon for transplantation into the same patient who donated their own cells. We will give people their own organs back. Our proof of concept is this immune system organoid. We can take this to market by producing human antibodies immediately and running drug screens and tests with them. The first transplantable tissue that we will take to market are human islets. They're the functional unit of a pancreas that type 1 diabetics lose, making them insulin dependent. They have to take their daily shots. There's no good source for islet transplantation. However, it does work to get people off of their daily insulin shots. So we plan to become a provider of islets. Ultimately, in about six years, we plan to provide full human organs for transplant. Our FDA strategy around taking islets to market will be the common path. We will start with animal testing early next year, followed closely by new drug indication, and then we believe we can start our phase one clinical trials in 2021. We have three provisional patents filed around this technology, high-resolution laser-based printing of 3D tissues, printing of cells in cell-containing devices and materials, and synthetic organoid printing. I met my co-founder, Dr. Noel Mullen, at UCSF, and together we have nearly 30 years of combined experience in laser imaging, immunology, and stem cell biology. We have a fantastic team of scientific advisors with deep experience in everything from optical engineering to tissue engineering. We believe there's a bright future for human tissue engineering because we are solving the last hurdle, the final problem, and that is the creation of microvasculature. We're currently hiring for scientists and optical engineers. We closed our seed round early this summer, and we'll be opening our Series A soon. Thank you very much. We're at Prelis Biologics, and we're building life with light.